morning guys how's it going today we're going to do this question it's uh it's a uh, question seven it's on uh general arithmetic okay so consumer arithmetic so this this one uh, was was very interesting and uh, we, we are hopefully going to cover it in very little time and then move over to some other things okay this is a very common question so it says during a sale all prices were reduced by by 15 percent okay so a jacket was bought for for 55 dollars calculate the original price of the of the jacket so the way that i always advise my students to go about doing this is to identify the figures written or the uh, values written in the in the uh, question so for example on in this one we are told the 55 dollars here the 50 dollars the 55 dollars was the price uh, at which the the jacket was bought but then you have to know what percentage this 55 dollars corresponds to okay so if uh, somebody reduces by 15 percent what do you have there you have 100 percent minus minus the 15 percent so the money that you actually buy the the jacket it's just 85 percent of the of the um, actual price okay so this one uh, 55 percent corresponds to you 85 percent okay 55 dollars corresponds to 85 percent the original price of the jacket would correspond to what? To 100% here. So using a simple proportion, this one would be more. Okay, because the percentage in the directions, they go in the same direction for, for, for this case. If you increase the percentage, you increase the, the um, value, okay? So that's why we say more here. So afterwards, by simple proportion, this one would be, so if you want, you can say X is equal to you, but then it's still okay. It's still fine so this of this way you get 100 divided by this multiply by by 55 dollars here so you would uh, just take your calculator and say 100 divided by 85 we don't need to work this out because uh, it's on paper two okay so that's why we just need to just punch it in the calculator and then see what comes out so here i'm getting uh 64 71 okay so I'm getting 6470, it'd be 6472. 6470 to 3SF. Okay, so 3SF, this one would be 6470. Okay, so this one was the original uh, price of the, of the jacket after reducing this. This is one way to uh, look at the same question. You can actually work it out differently. How would you do it? You would identify, okay, so you'd identify $55, just like what we did, corresponds to 85%. 85% simply means um, uh, 85 over 100. And then what you do is you invert this. So you say it would be 85% uh, the 1 over 85% multiply by 55. Okay, so when, whenever you want to get the whole from a, from a, a fraction and a corresponding value, you just flip it over. So you'd get 1 over 85% uh, multiplied by this. Okay, so 1 over 85%, if you want, you can say 1 over 0 0.85 multiplied by 55 like this. You'd still get the same value. And another way to, you, you, would, you wouldn't even need to uh, work this out. Uh, is in work the 85 0 0.85 out you can just say 55 divided by 0.85 in your calculator and then you get again the same value so you get 64 and 70 here dollars yeah you'd say uh, for 3sf okay so this is this is how you uh, you do it and uh, another way to do to go about it is to realize that uh, let me let me actually just uh, rub the spot a little bit and then show you the alternative way to how we call the same question so is to realize that 85 percent simply means 85 over 100 here so it'd be 85 over 100 so if it's 85 over 100 you know you you're in a position where you know a value and the corresponding fraction okay so what if you want to do to get the whole you only use this to calculate the whole the whole in this case is the original price so you invert again so it'd be 100 over 85, multiply by 55, okay? Then you take your calculator again, let me say 100, divided by 85, 
Then you say multiply it by 55. Then you get 6470 again. Okay, so then you get uh, 6470 to 3SF. Okay, so this is this where the uh, various ways you could have uh, worked this out. But essentially, you should uh, have the instinct to actually identify this value. What percentage is it corresponding to? This is different according to the questions that you'll be having. So is it uh, a discount? Is it um, an increase in, in value? Uh, and then always have uh, some perspective in mind of what the 100% would look like. For a case, if uh, they reduce the price, then the original price would be the 100% for a case. Okay, so this is how you'd work this out. You have an extract. So this is um, this is um, uh, someone's bank statement. Okay, so this is an extract of the bank statement uh, for the month given in May. Okay, so uh, you are you told to calculate x, y, and z. These are called non-routine questions. Non-routine in the sense that you there is no one way to work them out, and also you might get a different question than this. It's all about reading the context and then seeing what's there. Okay, today maybe it's a bank statement. Tomorrow maybe it's a it's um well, it's a trial balance or something. It it just differs. But then you should be able to read um you know all the context of what you'll be having, and then also to um understand how the figures will be going. Okay, so for example here um your credit balance would be something is credited to your account. Okay, so. That means that uh, it's, it's it's a good thing. A credit ba balance, it's a it's a good thing. A debit balance, it's a it's a bad thing when you're dealing with bank statements. A debit balance means you're taking money out. A credit balance means uh, you're taking money in. Okay, so here uh, the balance is is uh, ten, ten dollars at first, and then we 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 were credited with uh, uh, this much. Okay, so if uh, if you had ten here and then you credit uh, this. Then you you'd actually get uh, uh four four twelve dollars. It's still fine. So here there wasn't any value. Okay, so this this is how it's going on. So credit we're increasing the bank balance. Our debit we are actually taking out, making some some sort of payment. Okay, so here uh the credit balance brought forward would be you're told that the balance is brought forward. So the balance brought forward would be simply the ten dollars here that you you have in your in your balance here so now you're given a salary and then you your balance jumps to to this much okay so here you actually check out something okay so you you make a withdrawal and then you're left with this so you want to know what that withdrawal is okay so but then you you're given a hint here bank charges of one percent on current uh, account balance so your current, current current account balance is this so you have a bank charge off of one percent it's going to be able to go on this debit here so what you do is you just do one percent times times uh 412 because that was the balance okay so one percent times 412 what do you get you get uh four dollars 12 cents like this okay so another way to do go about it is to say one over 100 by by 412 you actually get them the same value here okay but then this one w works well for for calculating okay so here x would be so x would be equal to four dollars twelve okay that's it and um, uh, after withdrawing four dollars twelve what do what after after um, uh, paying after they debit you the amount four dollars twelve what do you have left so y would be equal to now you are subtracting so 412 minus four dollars twelve like this so what do you get you just go on your calculator no need to work this out this is paper two so 412 minus four dollars twelve like this then you get um 407.88 okay so so 407.88 like this okay so this is why and this one is X here. Okay. So we, we're doing well, we're killing it. So this one is uh, let, me, let me actually bite them here. So this one would be 407.88. Then this one would be 412. 
Okay, so this one is fine. And then we withdrew some more money here, and then we are left with this. So Z, the money that we withdrew here, uh, we can we can say Y minus Y minus Z equal to. So here I just. Uh, So this one is this this is how you write Z. So that is different than two, okay? Especially for us with bad handwritings. So here it's uh, it's Y minus the debit balance is equal to two ninety-two eighty-eight. Okay, so two ninety-two eighty-eight. What you want is Z. So Z can actually go to this side here. So Z would be equal to Y minus two ninety-two eighty-eight. Okay. So Z is equal to Y already you know. So it's a 407.88 minus 292.88. So what do you get? So 407.88 minus 292.88. Yeah. So you'd actually get 115. So Z is equal to 115 dollars here. Okay, so this is Z. This is your Y. Uh, this this is your your y, and this is your z, and this is your x. Okay, so this is how you're supposed to do it. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next part. Cheers. Give up. Out.